In this video, we're going to take a look at point-slope form. Point-slope form is another way that we can write linear equations, and we'll find that it makes it a little bit easier in some situations to write an equation. Point-slope form, the general form of it is, of course, y minus y sub 1 equals m times, oops, got a straight line out of that somehow, m times x minus x sub 1. All right, so we can use that to write an equation if we're given a point and the slope. So here we go, we're given the slope and a point. So we can just go ahead and fill in those things and then we've got our equation. So y minus y sub 1, our y, remember this is in the form xy, so y is the second one, 8, equals m, which is 1 half, then x minus our x right here, which is negative 6, so it's going to be x plus 6, because minus minus 6 gives us the plus 6. Now, the only problem with point-slope form is that we can't just look at it and graph. Remember, in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we can look at it, pull out the y-intercept and the slope, and easily graph it. Point-slope form, we can't easily graph it. But, we can change point-slope form into slope-intercept form. To do that, we just go ahead and solve for y. So, we're going to just simplify here. y minus 8, going to distribute through that 1 half. So, 1 half times x, then 1 half times 6, which is 3. Okay, now we're almost there. We just need to get that y by itself. So we're going to add 8 to both sides and finish it up. We get y equals 1 half x and then 3 plus 8 is 11. So then we can use that equation and graph it if we'd like. But the key is that we've written an equation both in point slope form right here and then we changed it to slope intercept form with a, of a line with a slope of one half through the point negative six eight. Let's take a look at another example. This next one we are given a slope again and a point so hey point slope form let's use it. Go ahead and put in those things y minus our y sub one remember y is the second one four so y minus four equals slope is nine negative 9, excuse me, times x minus our x right there, which is 3. Okay, then we just go ahead and simplify. If depends on what the problem asks us to do, of course, but um, just know that we can change it to slope-intercept form if we'd like. If it just asks you to write it in point-slope form, you can stop right there because that's what we've done. Let's just assume that it asks us to graph it or to write it in slope-intercept form, so we're going to change it. That means get the y by itself. So y minus 4, we're going to distribute that negative 9 through. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. Negative 9 times negative 3 is plus 27. Get that y by itself. we got to get rid of the minus 4, so we're going to add 4 to both sides. Then we have y equals negative 9x. 27 plus 4 is 31. So there's our equation in slope-intercept form, and here it is in point-slope form again. Now, in this next column, we're given two points. To write an equation in point-slope form, we need a point. We've got two, so we're good there, but we also need the slope. So we need to find the slope given the two points. Remember that the formula for slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, remember we can take either y first but as long as we take the same x first. So if I want this to be my y sub 2 then this needs to be my x sub 2. 
as I do that, I'm going to take this one first. So 7 minus 8, difference in my y's. 4 minus 8, difference in my x's. That's going to be 7 minus 8 is negative 1 over 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Negative divided by negative gives us the positive 1 fourth. So that is my slope. All right, now I've got what I need. I've got point, two of them actually, and I've got my slope. Go ahead, fill the things in. So we have y minus y sub 1. I'm going to take this one just because, I don't know, because. <laughs> then y minus 8. Slope, 1 fourth times, oops, for some reason my parentheses keep coming out as straight lines x minus x sub 1, which is 8, then I go ahead and simplify. If I'm asked to write it in um, points or slope-intercept form, and let's assume that we are. So go ahead, y minus 8 equals 1 fourth times x is 1 fourth x, 1 fourth times negative 8. Remember, Multiplying fractions, we multiply on top and then on the bottom. So negative 8 over 4, simplify that would be minus 2. Then get the y by itself by adding 8 on both sides. Then we're left with y equals 1 fourth. Oops, that's not a very nice 4. Looks more like a y. Got to get that straight. 1 fourth x, negative 2 plus 8 is. 6. And then we could use that if we want to graph our equation by picking out the slope and the y-intercept, of course. All right, last one. Again, the first thing we need to do is find the slope. So to do that, I'm just going to subtract 7 minus 4 over negative 6 minus minus 5. Negative 6 minus minus 5 is plus 5. So 7 minus 4 is 3. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1, so my slope is going to be negative 3. Now that I have my slope and I've got points, I can go ahead and fill the things in. So y minus, I'm going to use, let's use this one, y minus 7 equals the slope negative 3 times x minus, remember I use the 7, so I need to use the 6, the negative 6 that goes with it. So minus negative 6 would be plus 6. Then, if I want to write that in slope-intercept form, again, remember, if you're asked to write it in point-slope form, we're done. If you're asked to write it in slope-intercept form, then we need to continue and solve for y. So y minus 7 equals negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 6 is, oops, plus a negative 18 or just minus 18. Then add 7 on both sides to get that y by itself. My board is not being very cooperative. Plus 7 on both sides. y equals negative 3x. Negative 18 plus 7 would be negative 11 or minus 11. So there's our slope intercept form. All right, point slope form. Point slope form is nice when we're given a slope and a point and ask to write an equation for those things. Fill in what we're given, and then if we need to, and we want to graph it, we can easily change it into slope-intercept form, which allows us to pick out the slope and the y-intercept and graph. If we, don't, if we aren't asked to do that, we don't have to do that, but we sure can. I hope that was helpful. Good luck.